you to vote on the news. And here's the winner. There is a huge hidden heavenly body right here in our solar system. Evidence is mounting that either a brown dwarf star or a gas giant planet is lurking at the outermost reaches of our solar system, far beyond the planet Pluto. According to the British newspaper, The Independent, the object is four times the size of Jupiter. Experts say the presence of such a massive object could explain why a barrage of comets has been coming from that direction. NASA launched the Pioneer 10 spacecraft in 1972 
it attached to it a golden plaque. With this plaque, Pioneer carries a message to extraterrestrials about its home planet. Its symbols show the radio signature of our sun, where our planet is located, and what we looked like. As Pioneer 10 journeys on beyond the outer known planets, the date it is sending back is also being used to seek a possible 10th planet. Indeed, a March 1992 NASA press release stated, Unexplained deviations in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune point to a large outer solar system body of four to eight Earth masses on a highly tilted orbit beyond seven billion miles from the Sun. In the past two decades, astronomers have joined the search to look for one more planet in our own solar system. They designate such a planet, Planet X, meaning both unknown and tenth. naturally led directly to you and, and your interest in what we're doing and that's when you you sent me this book you have then postulated the existence or, or the appearance in some 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 time aeons ago uh, of, of a, a celestial body which you I think named in that uh, paper uh, an intruder yes which may have uh, collided with or, or, or somehow uh, turned on, on their side both Uranus and Pluto. Uh, it did a lot more than that, as a matter of fact. In that paper, we hypothesized that this intruder passed very close to Neptune, that it dislodged one of what we then think were many satellites of Neptune, and one of them became the planet Pluto. We actually think Pluto was an escaped satellite of Neptune. This will also take the orbit of Triton, the big satellite of Neptune, and reverse it. We'll take the orbit of the satellite Nereid and extend it outwards. We can produce all of the observed aspects of the satellite system of Neptune plus Pluto's orbit just with this one single intruding planet. Uh, one of the things we, we did in 1978, having made this prediction that there was a, an additional planet, 10th or 12th, depending on your point of view, but it's the, the next one, um, we sort of put our money where our mouth was, as it were, and we went out and we started looking for this thing. And uh, we've been searching for 12 years for this thing. We've been able to refine the search area somewhat, um, get it rather narrowed down. We, we do our predictions based on the observed anomalies in Uranus and Neptune. We actually are currently looking down in the region of Centaurus, which is just south of the, of the constellation Libra, but very close to the area that you've talked about. I think, uh, Dr. Harrington, you have a pretty good picture, at least in your own mind, of what we are talking about, a big planet, a small planet. Uh. Well, if, if it is in the kind of orbit that we describe here, it would have to be a planet that would have a mass something like three to five times the mass of the Earth. This would put it uh, intermediate between the gaseous planets like Uranus and Neptune and the terrestrial planets that we, we have in the inner part of the solar system. So if, if this planet turns out to be in a 3,600 year orbit, then it's, its mass will be correspondingly larger. But we're talking about something that's it's a perfectly reasonable kind of planet. It looks like a good, nice planet, uh, small enough that it's not going to be completely enveloped in gas, so it's perfectly capable of supporting uh, life forms of one kind or another. This one here is a map of the solar system as we know it. Uh, the inner planets, this is the orbit of planet Pluto. And this here is the orbit that I have proposed for uh, the tenth planet. And here's where we think it is right about now in its orbit. This is your orbit for the planet. Yes. And uh, um, showing that it would come out of Sagittarius in biblical time. And that once you allow for precession, it would be around into Libra by now. In, uh, which is, again, approximately the area that we're looking in. If planet X exists, we are not alone in this solar system. Astronomers are so sure of the 10th planet, they think there is nothing left but to name it.
alone he stretches out the heavens and threads upon the farthest deep. He arrives at the great bear, Orion and Sirius, and the constellations of the south. He smiles his face upon Taurus and Aries. From Taurus to Sagittarius he shall go. The books of Job and Amos.
Now, in the last few days, five huge sperm whales have been washed up on beaches on the east coast of England. The latest was, dis was discovered on Monday and is thought to be part of the same pod of whales swimming off the coast last week. Whales have been stranded on these shores before, but rarely in these numbers. They probably belong to a pod of sperm whales originating from the deep waters off the Norwegian coast. Scientists are baffled as to what brought them to this tragic end. Well, the water off some southwest Florida beaches already brown and murky tonight. Take a look. Fishermen tell NBC2 they've already spotted dead fish. Peter and Kelly, I did speak to many local fishermen here. They say they're seeing dead fish floating in the water. One even tells me he bought shrimp for bait. He put them in a bucket and tossed them overboard, and all 50 of them died instantly. It just drives everything down. It kills the seagrass. It it does havoc on everything. I don't know what, what that water contains. My friend that was from up north wanted to know why all these dead fish were floating around in the marina there. For days, concerned ABC7 viewers have been calling our newsroom to tell us about dead fish floating in the lake. They also say the lake stinks. I don't remember seeing four or five modeling systems having this much consistency. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one day in advance. Uh, we're seeing the um, everything line up for a major storm system affecting the eastern third of the country. Extreme weather at this hour. Florida taking a beating. Multiple tornadoes reported in Broward County, including an EF1. Winds up to 100 miles per hour. Dramatic images the moment of impact at this college. A tractor trailer flipping over. Cars piled on top of one another. People hiding beneath underpasses. A woman inside her car as it was thrown across the highway. Yeah, it was just, it was very strange. I've never seen anything like this where cars have been flipped over, you know, just because of a storm. Good evening. South Australians are being warned the effects of the wild weather are not over yet. Two days of heavy rain, flooding and gale force winds left around 1,000 properties without power. And there's now the ongoing danger of falling trees. Adelaide's wettest January in almost 40 years, as gale force winds of more than 110 kilometres an hour pummeled parts of the state. Just one week after a severe thunderstorm tore through the city. Normally in January we don't get uh, very much rainfall. But Adelaide received almost twice its average monthly rainfall over the past two days alone. Parts of California are cleaning up this morning from a deadly winter storm. High wind ravaged the state. One drive in San Diego was killed Sunday when a tree toppled onto her car. High winds uprooted an eight-foot-wide oak tree in San Diego. I've been here 15 years, never seen the wind blow this hard. This scaffolding was reduced to a pile of twisted metal. Trees fell all across Southern California because the ground is soaked by recent storms and winds were howling at up to 70 miles per hour. Well, a massive sinkhole has opened up in southern Oregon, and it's taken out a huge chunk of a busy highway, Highway 101, near the California border. And from the air there, you can see a side road completely washed away. It just grew after a storm dumped nearly an inch and a half of rain. We begin tonight with an eight on your side investigation. Danger lurks beneath major sinkhole activity underneath a Tampa apartment building right near one of the busiest roadways in the city. Now we got our hands on a very disturbing report and took that straight to city officials. And they found it so alarming, they took immediate action. Eight on your side investigator Shannon Bacon joins us now li live here in the studio. Shannon, this is extremely scary for those living nearby. It is, guys. I would call it terrifying. Engineers tell me they have never seen sinkhole activity this severe. And get this, the property is right beside a major road and an elementary school. A unique show that happens about once or twice every decade is going on right now, and all you have to do is just look up. Storm Team 2 meteorologist Tara Hastings has more on this celestial sight. On any given clear night, you can usually see a planet or two in the sky, but for the next two weeks, five planets will be visible, all with the naked eye, at the same time. For the first time in 11 years, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter will make an appearance in the pre-dawn sky. If you're willing to get up early between <laughs> January 20th and February 20th, you do get up early all the time, Joe, for work. But for those of us who don't, you're in for a special treat if you do. It's called a planetary spectacle 
of all five of the so-called bright planets. They will be visible to the human eye. That includes Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. You'll also be able to see the stars Picaris and Antares. Fox News alert. A strange one. Government scientists have just confirmed to Fox News a sonic boom happened over New Jersey. And people report feeling the shaking from southern New Jersey all the way to New York City. The United States Geological Survey reports the boom happened over Hampton. Some say that they've felt a series of these booms, as many as eight of them. They say entire houses were shaking violently. It, it, so far, it's really a mystery. A spokesman for the Air Force Base in, in that local area there tells a local radio station that their jets are not behind it. Jersey State Police tell local media that they're still investigating and they don't know what it is.
Thank you.